This week, we're going to look at tenants in common and which scenario this would work best. everyone, glad to have you back for another Mortgage Minute. Uh, this week, we're going to look at tenants in common and which scenario this would work best. So tenants in common is an ownership structure uh, in which multiple borrowers can own separate shares of the property. Now this means that the shares can be dealt with separately as well too. So for example, two family members could purchase a cottage together and each own 50% of the property, or one person could own 80% and the other could own 20%. In this situation, no person is entitled to the right of the other person's share upon that. So tenants in common, they also allow for each other to pass along those shares in the property to beneficiaries uh, under their will if they wish uh, as well. So if two couples wanted to purchase a vacation home, each person could own 25% share in the property and then each individual could pass that share along to their children. This also means that each person could individually sell off their share to a buyer, although it can be tough to find a buyer who is interested in just a partial share of a property. Choosing your ownership structure is an important piece of the puzzle. Uh, so if you need questions, make sure you consult your mortgage professional for advice before making the final decision. As always, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate your support. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the chat and make sure you hit the like button.